You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to A to Z English, where today we've got some idioms from A to Z. We're going to have three idioms that we're going to put in a quick dialogue for you, and then we're just going to talk about and explain so you can learn how to use them in your everyday speech. So we've got some more money idioms today, Jack. What's our what's our dialogue? Let's start off with this. Okay. So Kevin,、uh, I got married last week, and I went on my thank you. I went on my honeymoon, and we nearly broke the bank. Yeah, honeymoons can be expensive. I really wanted to go on a a really big honeymoon, but my wife is really close fisted. She would never let me spend that much money on just a trip. A trip. Well, let's meet up for coffee sometime and talk about our our honeymoons. Oh, nice! That'll be really fun, but. We're gonna have to go Dutch because, like I said, I've got to really watch my money. I can't spend too much. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right. So, anybody listening? Did you did you catch the idioms on there? We've got three. The first one was to break the bank. The next is to be close fisted, and the last is to go Dutch. This one's probably the most common one. I think go、mm-hmm. Dutch. Do you want to just start with that one? I, I think yeah, this is、sure. one that I've heard so many people use. To to go Dutch. I mean, even in Korean, they they use they, they change、Dutch、it a little. They just say、yeah. Dutch pay,、mm-hmm. but it's the same idea. To to go Dutch. And this is how we use it in English. To go Dutch or past tense. We went Dutch.、Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, and and what does、yeah. that mean? To go Dutch means、uh, means that、uh, you split the bill. Fifty fifty on a date. So if you go on a date with someone, and、uh, you go to a restaurant, and let's say the meal costs fifty dollars five、mm-hmm. five zero fifty dollars, one person, the man、uh, will where one person will pay twenty five dollars, and the other person will pay twenty five dollars. So you、right. split split it fifty fifty. Go, 50, Dutch, 50. go Dutch. Yeah. So, do you think? Yeah, I don't know where this one comes from.、Uh, They always just there's a stereotype. We should talk about stereotypes sometime.、Mm-hmm. But there's a stereotype that Dutch people are are really cheap, and that's probably not true. I know some very nice Dutch people. So, if there's any Dutch people listening,、um, you know, it's not no offense, but、uh, yeah, to go Dutch is because the Dutch people are there's a stereotype that they're very cheap and that they would never buy you dinner, but they would go Dutch style,、yeah. and you'd have to pay half and half. Like most stereotypes, it's not true. <laughs> they're、right. they're not based in reality. Yeah.、Um, and then, how about then to break the bank? So, are, is that like robbing a bank? Can I go in and steal a bunch of money? Is that no, this one I think、means? I think this one has to do with. I'm not sure, but I believe it has to do with a piggy bank. And so, oh, that makes know, sense. What's a piggy bank? Just a piggy for... bank is a little a little glass. It can, it can be anything, but long time ago they they were、uh, glass pigs. And it has a little slot on the on the top of it where you can put a coin inside, and、yeah. you fill it up. And what would happen is kids would it, mostly kids would use piggy banks, and they would put their little coins in there. And then when it's all full, they would smash it with a hammer, and then count up the coins, and then take it to the bank, and you know get dollars or or open a bank account yeah, or something like kind that. Kind of the way to save money at home, you would put、yeah. put coins into your piggy bank at at home. That's an interesting idiom in itself. Actually, is the piggy bank the、yeah. mention of of a piggy bank? Most most countries wouldn't have that. So, yeah, kids save you save money in your piggy bank, and it's yeah shaped like a pig. So yeah, you break the piggy bank, and that means that you spend almost all your money. Yes,、uh, you spend a lot of money, similar to costing an arm and a leg, but a little bit different. It just almost cost all of it. So you know, I bought a house last week. We almost broke the bank, and、right? it was very expensive. Mm-hmm. Like almost all my money is gone for breaking the bank. Yeah, yeah, not just your regular spending money, but your savings. So yeah, yeah right, you're breaking right. into your savings. Yeah, taking all your money out of the bank account to to buy whatever it is,、mm-hmm. and then finally close fisted. So to be closed to close something, and your fist is you know when you punch someone, you know you put your hand into a fist is close fisted. So when your fist is closed, what does what does this mean to be? Close fisted. He or she was close fisted. Yeah. So imagine that there's like a, a dollar inside your hand, and you're、right. you wrapped your your hand. You're making a、I've、fist. I got my dollar. And you got your dollar so tightly in your hand that you're making a fist. Close fisted means you you don't want to pay for anything. 
You know, right. you just want to hold on to your money and not let your money go. And so if somebody says you're closed fisted, it means you're cheap. You don't want to pay for anything. Yeah. So like there's there's a, a work office party coming up really soon. Right. And everyone is paying five dollars to buy some snacks for the party. And it's like we go up and it's like, hey, Steve, do you think did Steve give his money for the office party? It's like, oh, no, Steve is really close fisted. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't even give us five dollars for the Christmas party. You know, he's he's really cheap. Yeah. Or you want to you forgot your wallet at home and you want to borrow a dollar from your coworker to get a, a soda mm. in the soda machine. And you say, hey, can I can I borrow a dollar? I'll pay you back tomorrow. Oh, no, I don't have any. I don't have a dollar, you know, but they really do. And so they're being close fisted. You know, they don't yeah, want yeah. to to lend you any money. Right, uh, being really stingy, really yeah, stingy, not spending, not spending your money, being very scroogey. We have a lot of words money. for that, right? Tight, cheap, stingy. Yeah. Scroogey. Yeah, there are quite, yeah. quite a few. Yeah. I guess we, we, Americans don't like to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We try and keep it all. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, those, those are our, our three idioms for the day. So again, to break the bank or past tense broke the bank, we broke the bank, to be close fisted. And to go Dutch, or we went Dutch in the past tense. So for everybody listening in our show notes or on our website, you can join our WhatsApp group, our Facebook, or leave a comment right on the website and give us some examples trying to use these idioms. When was something that you, when you almost broke the bank? Do you have any friends who are closed fisted? When was the last time you and your friends went Dutch? You know, what's common for you and your friends? Do you spend money? Does one person buy or do you usually go Dutch? So give us some examples of those. And if you've got time as well, please don't be stingy. Don't be closed fisted. Go on to Apple Podcasts and leave us a comment and a, a, a quick five star review. And that would uh, really help other people to find out about some more idioms from A to Z English. So thanks, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>